Anti-Pope Francis recently released a new encyclical called Fratelli Tutti. It constitutes more clear proof that he's a notorious heretic and an anti-pope. In Fratelli Tutti, Francis condemns the death penalty again. He does so in an official and definitive fashion. The Catholic Church dogmatically teaches that the death penalty is permissible for certain things. This has been taught by the Solemn Magisterium of Pope Leo X in the Bull Against Martin Luther, and by the Church's Ordinary and Universal Magisterium throughout history. We have an article called St. Robert Bellarmine on the Death Penalty and Heretics. It quotes various things from St. Robert Bellarmine, who sums up the evidence for the Church's position that it's lawful for secular authorities to punish heretics with death. Even though the quotes focus on the teaching of the Church on the death penalty for heretics, the passages demonstrate that the Church dogmatically teaches that the death penalty is permissible for certain things. Pope Leo X solemnly condemned the view of Martin Luther, which was that it's against the will of the Spirit to burn a heretic. Of course, the quotes covered in the article in regard to the death penalty for heretics express Catholic teaching on what is permissible and appropriate for secular authorities to do in a state that is properly constituted. We are not advocating any violence. The death penalty would only be licitly carried out by the state acting appropriately, not by individuals. In regard to heretics such as John Huss and Martin Luther, who held that it is not lawful for secular authorities to put heretics to death, St. Robert Bellarmine said, quote, All Catholics teach the contrary, end quote. So, all Catholics teach that the death penalty is permissible for certain things. However, anti-Pope Francis and his sect condemn the death penalty because they aren't Catholic. Before we quote Francis's new utterances of heresy on this matter in Fratelli Tutti, note that on June 3, 2016, Francis said, quote, I would reaffirm the position of the Church against the death penalty, end quote. In 2018, he revised the new Catechism of the Vatican II sect to reflect their new position against the death penalty. The revised Catechism states, Consequently, the Church teaches in the light of the Gospel that the death penalty is inadmissible because it is an attack on the inviolability and dignity of the person, and she works with the determination for its abolition worldwide, end quote. That is notorious heresy. Even some members of the Vatican II sect acknowledge that Francis's teaching on this matter contradicts what the Church has always taught. Earlier this year, the Pope made a change to the Catechism regarding the death penalty. Consequently, the Church teaches in light of the Gospel that the death penalty is inadmissible because it is an attack on the inviolability and dignity of the person, and she works with determination for its abolition worldwide. I think this is very worrisome. Mm -hmm. um, it's a clear contradiction of what the Church has taught of since its, its beginning. If you go back to Augustine or Aquinas or any of the great thinkers, I think this is not a development. I think this is a contradiction. Uh, the death penalty is not immoral per se. The Church has never taught that. It's taught just the exact opposite. In December of 2018, Francis mentioned the change that he made to the Catechism, described the death penalty as contrary to the Gospel, and stated that, quote, the Church teaches in the light of the Gospel that the death penalty is always inadmissible, end quote. Wow. And then on October 3, 2020, in his encyclical Fratelli Tutti, he wrote this. Today we state clearly that the death penalty is inadmissible, and the Church is firmly committed to calling for its abolition worldwide. He also wrote, All Christians and people of goodwill are today called to work not only for the abolition of the death penalty, legal or illegal in all its forms, but also to work for the improvement of prison conditions, end quote. This is more proof of what has been demonstrated many times, that Francis is a manifest and notorious heretic. He rejects and indeed condemns a basic dogmatic teaching of the Catholic Church on the death penalty. The Catholic Church teaches that manifest heretics like Francis immediately and without any declaration lose membership in the Catholic Church and cannot hold office in it. This is based on the divine law. Francis's repeated and notorious heresy on this and other matters proves that he's not the Pope, but a heretical anti-Pope. Moreover, even though Francis would not need to teach his heresy in a definitive or authoritative fashion to demonstrate that he's outside the Church, in Fratelli Tutti he does use definitive language. In a supposed encyclical release to the entire world, and while pretending to act as Pope, he says, We state clearly that the death penalty is inadmissible and the Church is firmly committed to calling for its abolition worldwide. That is definitive language. He attempts to speak firmly on behalf of the Catholic Church, and he commits his sect to a heresy. There is no way that a valid pope can teach heresy in that fashion in an encyclical release to the whole world. The sect whose leader teaches such a thing in such a way is a non-Catholic sect. If you obstinately hold communion with the apostate anti-pope Francis, you join yourself to a heretical non-Catholic entity, indeed the Vatican II sect, the prophesied end times counterchurch, aka the Whore of Babylon. The Catholic Church is the one true church of Jesus Christ, outside of which there is no salvation, 
but the current situation in Rome was prophesied. See our video, Apocalypse Now in the Vatican, among other things. Our material explains what's going on and what to do. Further, Francis says that all Christians are called to work against the death penalty. According to Francis's official teaching, there's an obligation to contradict the Church's perennial teaching on the death penalty. A true pope would not and cannot bind all Christians to such a thing. Francis leads a sect. Don't listen to those false teachers who obstinately tell you that he's the pope. They are blind guides and instruments of Satan. In Fratelli Tutti, among other things, Francis also doubts, if not outright rejects, the Church's dogmatic teaching that war can be just. In paragraph 258, he writes, It is very difficult nowadays to invoke the rational criteria elaborated in earlier centuries to speak of the possibility of a just war, never again war. And in footnote 242, he writes, St. Augustine, who forged a concept of just war that we no longer uphold in our own day, end quote. To deny or doubt a truth of divine in Catholic faith is heresy. To hold that war cannot be just is heresy. Here is what St. Robert Bellarmine says on this matter in his work on the laity. Quote, there was an ancient heresy of the Manichaeans who asserted that war was unlawful of its own nature, and for that reason they accused Moses, Joshua, David, and the rest of the fathers of the Old Testament, who waged wars, of being wicked, as Blessed Augustine reports. In our day some have revived the same heresy. We, on the other hand, as the whole church has always taught both by words and examples, say that war is not unlawful of its own nature, and that not only for the Judeans but also for Christians is it lawful to engage in war, providing those conditions are kept that we shall talk of later, end quote. There are, of course, countless other utterances of heresy from the apostate anti-Pope Francis on salvation, on other religions, justification, the papacy, marriage, the church, etc. Indeed, it has been proven so many times that Francis is a manifest heretic and not the Pope that we were reluctant to even spend time doing a video on this matter, for there are many other things to do, and really, how much proof do people need to see? Non è lecito convincere della tua fede. Il proselitismo è il veleno più forte contro il cammino ecumenico. Frankly, many people don't even deserve more arguments and evidence on this matter, since they've already rejected so much. The man agrees with Martin Luther on justification and repeatedly condemns converting people to Catholicism. He's not Catholic. Io credo che le intenzioni di Martin Lutero non erano sbagliate e oggi luterani e cattolici, ah, protestanti tutti, siamo d'accordo sulla dottrina della giustificazione. Cioè, su questo punto tanto importante lui non è aveva sbagliato. Voi a convincere a altro che sia cattolico? No, no, no. In fact, it's true to say that those who cling to the apostate anti-Pope Francis cling to a sect that teaches heresies of Luther, such as on justification, see the joint declaration with the Lutherans on justification, and on rejecting the death penalty for heretics. However, since Francis reaffirmed his death penalty heresy in his new encyclical, further proving without any doubt that he's an anti-Pope, and there are still sadly so many false traditionalists who resist the truth and labor in darkness, while they, as a result of bad will, follow blind guides, and remain attached to their false traditionalist message, it was worth briefly covering his heretical new encyclical. We are also trying to reach those people who might not have heard these arguments before. The position of those who obstinately consider Francis to be the Pope amounts to this. They hold that a person who claims to be Catholic and hasn't been declared a heretic can literally do and say anything, such as denying the resurrection publicly every day for ten years straight, and that person is to be considered Catholic and inside the Church, not a heretic who is outside the Church. But their position is wrong. It is actually heretical. It makes a mockery of Catholic teaching and the unity of the Church. People who clearly depart from the Church's dogmatic teaching, such as Francis, are heretics and must be considered outside the Church. People need to wake up, embrace the truth, start serving God rather than man, and get out of the Vatican II sect, the end times counter-Church, before it's too late.